Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to XCOM The Long War. So before we jump into that terror mission, and I've already got the team loaded up, I just thought we'd take a quick look at the barracks. I haven't done that, I don't think, in great detail. Well, I guess we did have that promotions video a couple episodes ago, but in any case, let's just take a quick look at where we're at. So, we're in okay-ish uh, shape. Um, obviously, I still have quite a few of our key players um, down. Uh, and in particular, I've got, you know, these folks down on fatigue status. Uh, but they should be available for the covert op that's coming up. So that's good. Um, and then we've got some people in psionic training. Got some people in the genetics lab. I've got, you know, I've made the investment here with Ed and put him in the genetics lab for 20-something days. He's down to 25 now. I, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done that all at once, but... It seems like a good investment to do it. Yeah. Okay, and then... What else do we got going on? Cybernetic augmentation coming out in 8. So that'll give us our first Goliath mech. Now, let me know what you think, folks. I mean, I have pretty much steered clear of uh, mechs for the most part because of the exorbitant cost in this campaign. But as I've been looking at resources, and we'll check that in a second, we might be able to build some more mechs. And as I've been doing more and more research on it for Beta 15... Um, you know, you have Mech 1, Mech 2, Mech 3 suits, um, and they split. So you've got Mech 4 and 5, you've got Mech 6 and 7, and the differences in the suits are essentially more mobility versus more tanky. Um, and in just reading and doing a little studying, it seems like the best overall quote-unquote deal is the Mech 7 suit, because it's relatively tanky with good mobility, and it's versatile for multiple types of mech platforms. Um, so we could potentially get some more mech troopers and work our way up to that and maybe have a suit or two. We'll see. Um, I have been hesitant to do it, again, because of the exorbitant cost. But we've made a lot of investments in mech-related boundary projects as well as small items because we were using shivs and a lot of that stuff crosses over. So, food for thought. Okay, let's take a, speaking of those resources, let's take a look at where we're at. Okay, so we're sitting on over 700 delirium, 154 alloys, 354 fragments, 523 meld. Now, the delirium and the meld might be thinking, well, that's pretty good. Well, you start doing big investments of like 60, 70 meld, this goes quick. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, we're in okay-ish shape. And take a look at the facilities. We've got our satellite nexus going in here. That will allow us to put a satellite over every country on the globe. Now we're likely to lose. Satellite uplink facility. We're likely to lose France because the way the way that terror missions work in Long War, for those of you maybe not as familiar or just have maybe have forgotten, no matter how well we execute this terror mission, um it's going to increase. The, the The panic level will increase across Europe, and particularly in France. So we will likely lose France, and then we'll have to use a skeleton key to basically re-rate it uh, and get it back. And so when I'm looking at the timing for the month, I think we can pull it off. We'll just have to see how this covert operation goes and what other missions we get this month, because in theory... We could try to do more than one uh, base assault this month. I don't know if my nerves could handle it, but, you know, that's kind of what I'm looking at. So, let's see. Matter of fact, let's take a look at skeleton keys. We already have one. We just need the money to build another. Okay, and how many days does that take? Twelve. All right, so we've got a little bit of time to earn the money. All right, well, then, um... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this terror mission. Yeah. Okay, starting off on the left, we have Barbosa, our Master Sergeant Rocketeer, Carapace Armor, a Gauss Carbine. Uh, now, why the Gar Gauss Carbine instead of, like, the Stutter Gun for mobility? Well, first off, once you've fired off a couple rockets, you get mobility back. And two, Barbosa's a good shot. So, especially with the Carbine with a plus six. Yeah, that's kind of nice. So, I don't want to just, like, fire off the rockets and then have a Rocketeer that can't do anything. So... Uh, the Carbine's kind of a nice balance between providing one additional mobility 
um, but also gives you some additional accuracy, so I like that. We now have the recoilless rifle, so we've, we're using that, so that's 6 to 12 base damage versus the regular rocket launcher, which is 4 to 10, so that's awfully nice. We've got a spare shredder rocket, and then Barbosa's also carrying our shadow device for us. Next, we've got Christy the Train Smith, one of our uh, combat medics. She is kind of a hybrid. Let's take a look. We haven't had her in the field in a while, so she has field surgeon. She has smoke and mirrors, paramedic, combat drugs, and bombard. So yeah, yeah she's kind of a... Not a shooty combat medic, but kind of a support combat medic, if that makes sense. Loadout, carapace armor, the stutter gun. So I wanted to maximize her mobility. She has bombard, though, so I don't know. They necessarily need to do that. Yeah, I really don't, do I? Uh, But I'm not going to give her a Gauss heavy rifle. That's not going to happen. Hmm. Let me think about this for just a second. You know what? Let's switch this gear. Yep, and then come back over here. And you can take a Gauss rifle. I think that's a better fit. 75 aim. Gauss rifle's appropriate. You can always steady weapon and then fire the following turn. So, Carapace Armor, Gauss rifle, a set of Kim grenades, and a set of smoke grenades. And again, these will have combat drugs, so that's plus 20 defense, plus 20 will, and plus 20 crit. Yep. And then she'll inherently carry some medkits because of the field medic perk. Next, we have the first of two snipers going on this mission. So here we have Mercs, who is uh, one of our two Master Sergeant snapshot in the zone snipers. Phalanx armor, Gauss long rifle, laser pistol sidearm, an alloy bipod, and a scope. Next, we have Helsing, who's leading this, our combat medic officer. Carapace armor, Gauss rifle, Gauss auto pistol sidearm, a set of med kits and a scope, and I just realized she doesn't need that sidearm because she has lock and load. So what we're going to do... Where's my assault? Yeah. There you go. Okay, next, our scout. Jetpack Paul Davis. Now, he is an offensive scout. Um, so basically, you know... In my campaign, I've essentially got two setups. I've got my strike rifle with extended range using a marksman scope, uh, sort of concealment scout build, right? Like sort of a scout scout. And then if that made any sense. I think it did. <laughs> and then I have this setup, uh, which is the offensive shooty shooty type uh, scout. So that's what JP is. So he's got Aegis Armor, a Gauss Rifle, Pistol Sidearm, Chameleon Suit, and a Respirator Implant. If we look at his abilities, he's got Hollow Targeting, Dead Eye, Aggression, and In the Zone, which is kind of cool if you think about it. In the Zone at Tech Sergeant gives you some compelling reasons to not have all Concealment Scouts. For that matter, Hit and Run's good too that's at this level, so... Yeah. This is how I've chosen to build my offensive scouts and actually the ones after JP, I've changed them a little bit because I have lots of sources of hollow targeting. So um, Lone Wolf is actually, I think, a little better at uh, Lance Corporal. But still, effective nonetheless. There we go. We've got Eric Orb Bane, uh, one of our infantrymen, carapace armor, heavy goss rifle, pistol sidearm, alloy plating, and a scout. Our second sniper... Alex, Kestrel Armor, Laser Sniper Rifle, an Auto Pistol, Alloy Plating, and a Scope. Now, why is Alex carrying the sniper, the Laser Sniper Rifle instead of um, instead of carrying the, the big Gauss-based one? Primarily, it's because of the ammo issue, right? So, the Laser Sniper Rifle, while kind of long in the tooth, it's still 4 to 8 and 8, 8 to 11 with a 20 base crit chance. And then it also has... Three base ammo and plus six accuracy. So I, li I like this setup quite a bit. I will build a better sniper rifle at some point so that when I'm taking two on a mission, I've got some flexibility. But dead eye, precision shot, sharpshooter, platform stability, bring them on and double tap. Even with a laser based sniper rifle, Alex can still put down some serious heat. All right, and then last but not least, we've got Tracy, aka Bear, or Assault. Carapace Armor, Alloy Cannon, Gauss Auto Pistol Sidearm, Breaching Ammo, and Kite and Plating. Alright, let's get to it. 
Strike one. Prepare for... France is sending an urgent mission request. The aliens are getting more aggressive in their attacks within city limits. Oh, can't the... prevent them from terrorizing the local population. Right. Panic this is, is the... Spread throughout the region. The diner... Whatever bar map. It's not horrible. It's not. Um, but it can be a little tricky with getting flanked right off the bat, so we're gonna have to be careful. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike okay, so we've got a civilian here. Here, here. Those civilians. Okay, now on this map, something to kind of note is that you can have issues with things being on the roof. And anywhere where there's fog of war, like even a small area like this, could hold things like heavy floaters, which is pretty nasty. Or at this stage, berserkers, multiple berserkers, which I would not be surprised to see at all. Um, now, since we can't, no matter what we do, we're probably not going to be able to, to save uh, France. Our best bet is to save one civilian... Uh, so that we don't fail the mission outright. And then just try to keep everybody safe. Okay, how am I going to set up here? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's a little tricky. Alright, let's move Barbosa over here. I want to try to keep everybody central to Barbosa, Just in case I am forced to use the shadow device earlier rather than later. Which I could certainly see happening, considering the lack of cover here. Heading out. Okay, Bear can move Engine up right here. Oh, Engage. dang it. Already, huh? Mm. They're moving to flank me. Oh, and on the roof. That's not good. Okay, well... Probably gonna reveal another group. No, we didn't. Okay. Can I mind frame you? Possibly. Let's try that. Nope, failed. Dang it. Fifty-seven percent chance to hit. That's not horrible, but it's not great. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. All right, you move back and overwatch from back here. There's a chance to hit 84, 89. I can't leave you in the open though. Moving to position. No, nope, I can't. So hunker down back here. Steady weapon. Okay, bear, move back. Take the shot, 57%. Yeah, I think we do. No, dang it. All right, and let's throw a smoke. Like it, everyone? Well, Bear might not get it. And they'll probably acid. They'll probably acid us up here. That would be my guess. Alright, let's steady weapon. Oh, and a cyber disc. What did I tell you about the roof? Had a feeling. Nice shot. Let's set up another Overwatch shot from her. Darn it. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. And chrysalids and zombies. Well, this mission's just gotten ridiculous quick, hasn't it? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, Thin Man's moving up. He's overwatching. This one... 
killing a civilian. Okay. I guess it's better than them shooting at me, but still, this is kind of rough. Okay, okay, let's see here. Can you drop a cam grenade right here, and will it hit? Bigger question is, will it actually hit the cyber disk? It, sh it should. Alright, let's try it. Yeah, alright, okay, that's helpful. Okay, so we've got... I need eyes on this thing. Yeah, I really, really do. If I if I launch a rocket up there... What can I do? Well, I could just kill these guys, which is probably what I should do with the rocket. Alright, hold that thought. Because we're kind of in a rough spot here. We might need to just do a shadow device this turn. 50%. Hmm. Could run and gun. How far can I get? Not far enough. I could move up. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do the whole shadow device bit. Let's see. Can we conceal everyone up here? Yeah, it looks like we can. All right, well, let's take some shots first, then. Nope. And we need to shoot at the chrysalids. Yeah. So, right there. 94% and miss. I think that was 94%. Let's try again. There we go. Eight damage. Good. Normally, I would overwatch with her, but I needed the extra damage. So... Well, actually, right! She's got, uh, ready for anything, so she returned to overwatch anyway. Gosh, that's such a cool combo. Okay, now, can you do enough to kill him? No, you can't. Okay, we need to make that happen, so... How do we want to do this? Is that gonna be a kill? You know what? This will. There we go. Nice. Okay, reload. It's killing time. It's killing time. Right. And that's number two. No, missed. Okay, that's all right. Mm-hmm. That hits. Nice. Good shot, Alex. Very good. So, shadow device, or what? I don't know. It's kind of a tough call here. Probably shadow device. Yeah. Okay, so move back over here. Shoot at the guy that's wounded. Nope, didn't quite get that done. That's all right. Let's do a shadow device. Hmm. 
I'm a little bit worried about Alex being in the back, but there's not much I can do about it. Okay, then we got Bear over here. Yeah, take that shot. Nice. Okay, so two drones, a cyber disc, and I think a Thinman. That's what we're looking at. Oh, firing at civilians? Okay. Guess in this case I'd rather have that happen, but I need to save a civilian, and this is... That's becoming problematic. Oh, did I just hear a sectopod? Man, I hope I didn't. Okay, here comes the zombie. There's another one on route too. I kind of forgot about them. Kopi takes a shot. 97. Nice shot. Another shot at 97. Nice hit. And people were doubting the usefulness of a combat medic. I think not. Okay, here comes our next contestant. The threat here is the cyber disc. Elevated position right near us. Yeah, it's just not good. I'm hoping it moves forward just enough that we can take care of it this turn. It has no grenade target, at least not a good one. So hopefully it just moves forward enough, tries to take a shot at someone. It's not coming forward at all? Really? Well, that's not good. JP's gonna have to... Hmm. Okay, this is a tricky... This is a very tricky situation we're in now. I need to save a civilian, too. Like, now. Like, right now. Well, there's one over there I can kind of get to. Okay, we could do this. We can send Bear this way. Heading out. To potentially save a civilian. Can you hit one of those things with a sidearm? Not worth it. Okay, go back to primary. And hunker down. Reload. And loaded. Take a shot. No. Okay. Adjusting aim. Move Head back. Now. Actually, let's clear everyone back. Hmm. Where can Mercs go? Here, but then she could get flanked. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna have to move back. That's all we can do since the cyber just hasn't shown itself. Man, this is... This is not a fun position to be in, people. Okay, we're gonna shift a little bit here. Getting it done. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave some people... Kinda in a... Kind of a, a bit of a sticky situation, oh, unfortunately. Heading there now. Which means we might get grenaded. Okay, finish that guy off, please. There we go. Good. Hostile pacified. Ten crit. Wow, that's a good shot. That really would have been good if that had hit. Enemy is still alive. There we go, 13 crit, nice. Good shot. Okay, now. Please hit with this. There we go, nice. Okay, now. Take another shot. 
right here. I need ammo. Finish this one off or drop a smoke grenade? I think we drop a smoke grenade. Yeah. We're going to get hit by these drones, most likely, and they're going to fly into the smoke, which is going to make things more difficult for us. But, considering we still have Thin Men out there... Well, that was the civilian I was going to go save, so much for that. We might fail this mission just simply because we can't get to a civilian. There's one back there that looks like he's okay. Come on. Take your shot, drone. Okay, here comes that thin man. Still have the cyber disc we got to deal with. Using suppression on Bane. Okay, I'm alright with that. We can break that suppression. Here comes the other thin man. That, that wasn't a double move? That looked like a double move. Okay, so we got a thin man up above us. That's a no-go situation. Come on, give me my turn. percent 64 percent I think we're gonna kill him with a rocket might seem wasteful but it's not especially since there's a decent chance it'll give us visibility to the uh what's it called cyber disc yeah can we position it where maybe we hit them both well that would be pretty good if we could pull it off okay let's go for that Launching. Should destroy that guy's cover if that's successful. There we go. Oh, we killed all three. Nice! <laughs> Value rocket there. Okay, let's push forward a little bit with Bear. Okay, you can... Actually, that's fine. You can stay looking for now. Okay, Mercs is going to move further away. And reload. And you are going to take a shot at this thing. And miss. Alright. Reload. Take a shot. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna move away. And reload. Locked and loaded. Okay, JP. Uh. Hold on, we gotta take care of this thing. I got it. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to hope that Overwatch does the trick because JP's got no ammo. Okay, well, we'll move back here. Killing time. Hunker down over here. I mean, considering how many things we had coming at us, this is okay-ish so far. Uh-oh, I might have spoke too soon. Okay. Drone's gonna shoot someone? Or it's just going to sit there. That was kind of strange behavior for the drone, but okay. I'm not going to argue with it. Do you have a sniper shot? Oh, we do. Okay. Well, we're going to have to run the Overwatch. Why, you say? Well, because we need him to open up. That's why. And I don't mean about his feelings. 1% chance to be hit. Don't hit him. Don't you dare hit him. All right. <laughs> I would flip out right now if JP got killed. I would. For reals. Okay, so let's take this shot. Trigger's in the zone. And we're going to take a shot. Oh, actually, we're not going to take a shot. I was going to say we would, but then it would close him back up, and we don't want that. Now, can we actually get a chem grenade? No, he's too high up in the air, so we can't. We can... We could shred him. 
But I don't know that I want to do that. We could take our Goss long rifle shot. Alright, let's do that. 10 damage. Okay. So now... We might as well take this shot with JP. It'll give us hollow targeting. Negative damage. Okay, good shot. Go ahead and take a second one. Hit with that one too. Nope, not quite. All right. Negative damage. Good hit. And Alex can finish this up. Yeah, no problem. Dead like disco. Nice. Okay, is our board clear? Yep, it is. Okay, well, I don't want uh, the video to get too long, so I'm actually going to make a cut here, and when we come back in the next one, we will finish up this terror mission, which, you know, to my surprise, is actually going okay so far. <laughs> so, if you liked it, please consider hitting the thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal. I'll see you later.